New feature alert. There's a new tool called the Hats Workshop Assistant. To access it, all you do is go into your chat, click on Tools, and then right here in Built-in Tools, you have the Hats Workshop Assistant. If you enable this, it can do so much to cut down on the time that it takes to create, edit, and run automations, agents, workflows, everything over here in the Workshop tab. So you can see how it runs, is create a workflow that reads a document I give it, summarizes it, then passes the summary to a new step that creates a LinkedIn post about the summary, and then pass it to another step that rewrites the summary like Shakespeare. So we will run that, and it takes a little bit of time to run because it is making a lot of calls, it's doing a lot behind the scenes. While it's doing that, we're gonna come over here and take a look at some of the things that you can do with the Hats Workshop Assistant. A lot of people who are new to Hats are not necessarily new to AI, but they're new to using things like multi-step workflows and building agents. This can cut down on a lot of the time and the learning curve that it takes to get a workflow or an automation or even an agent up and running. So some examples, and these are really simple, let me tell you, you can ask it to create new apps, workflows, or agents with nothing more than one sentence. And you saw the example that I just gave it. So I said, create a workflow that takes a blog post URL, summarizes it, and then writes a tweet about it. It will do that. At the end, it'll give you a link, and we'll see that in just a moment, but it'll give you a link to the newly created workflow. You can do this for agents. You can tell it to create a new agent that has access to certain information, certain integrations. It is designed to do X, Y, and Z, and it will go and create the agent. You can tell it to modify and update existing items. So in an example, in my article writer workflow, add a new step at the end to translate the final article into Spanish. That will go and open up the article writer workflow, add another step to the end, and then give you a link to that new workflow. So if we're gonna pop back over here, you can see it does take a little bit of time just because it makes a lot of calls and it does a lot of work behind the scenes. So it's creating a work workflow scaffold, creating a workflow node, another node, you can see where it's connecting all of the pieces. And I'm really excited to show you the final result here. Tips for effective communication, be specific. Instead of saying make an app, you have to actually tell it what you want it to do. Refer to items by name. So if you want it to modify something or run an existing item like an app, a workflow, an agent, use its name. Don't say use that social media app. Actually tell it to run the social media post generator. If you can't remember them, you can ask it to find all of your apps and workflows and agents that have social media in them and then tell it to run a specific one. And then describe your goal. This is really meant to make prompt engineering kind of a thing of the past. You're still going to need to do prompt engineering in this regard, but it will write the prompts in those workflows and in those agents. Tell it what you want and what the outcome is, and it will write the prompts for you. All right, so this is the final result. It gives you the workflow ID. It actually gives you a link, and it tells you what it did. So it says here it handles these document types, LinkedIn post creator, and then Shakespearean translator. And it tells you how to use it too, which is great. So let's click on this. Wow. All right, so I've given it an example core documentation PDF. If you've been around hats long enough, you know that I will use example core a lot for these kinds of examples. Okay, we have our first result. That looks like a good summary to me. Prompt number two and three working. This is the LinkedIn post. You can see the hashtags down here. A lot of keywords. But I know we're all most interested in prompt number three, which is the Shakespearean translation. <laughs> a lot of business applications for this. Incredible. All right, go try out the Hats Workshop Assistant. If you have questions about it, go to docs.hats.ai, click on how to use Hats, and then the Hats Workshop Assistant. Or better yet, click on this little button down here and ask Lark about the Hats Workshop Assistant.